All right, today we have an Ito uh, uh, projector. Well, the great thing is about this projector is this is the full box. I mean, this is my hand, this is the box, and it is super small, which is a good thing for projectors. Now, it is designed to be portable. As you can see, there's a handle right here on the box, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have power. So there's two three watt audio speakers, and that's before you can connect it to Bluetooth. And it does come native with a 1080p, as well as the 150 ANSI lumens. So makes it really good to try to actually watch something. We'll see that in a bit. Let's go ahead and get this open and you can see what's in here. All right, so we have that handle is mentioning right off the box. And here is going to be our remotes and our connectors, our power cables. And of course the instructions, right there. We'll worry about those in a bit. This is the part we were after. So even the box didn't do this justice as far as size goes. This thing weighs almost nothing by itself. Um, we've got plenty of ventilation both here and in the back. We've got those two five watt speakers on the side. And we have multiple connections options. Let me go ahead and zoom in a bit. We have our, of course, our power supply, USB and HDMI, as well as an audio jack. So even if you don't want to use the built-in sound or even uh, Bluetooth, you do have the option for your own private audience there. Uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, hooked up and I will be back in a bit. All right, here we are, we're back. We got this all hooked up, just the two cords in the back to get started. Now, the great thing about this lens is it is an all-in-one system. It is sealed to protect it from dust and wear, etc. So that should make it a whole lot easier to maintain, because you don't have to, as well as improve the lifespan of that as well. Let's go and get this powered on. And you can hear the fan kicking up but it's not a loud fan. I don't even know if you can hear it on film here. Let me get a little bit closer see if I can. All right, let's take a look, see what we got on going on over here. We're loading on the wall over there. Let's let this get fired up. And we have, right out of the box, iOS uh, mirroring, iOS Wi-Fi, uh, wi Android mirroring, companion mode and signal source as well as our settings. Let me get the remote powered up, be right back. All right, so I went ahead and got some batteries in here. It's been, you're running a couple of triple A's. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. So this companion mode is just some background sounds and pictures to one, save your lens and to look at something a little more interesting than just the menu. And you can activate this directly from the main menu and after uh, I think about five minutes or so of inactivity it will flip over as well and this kind of loops through scenery. Now while we're on this I'm going to show you an interesting feature. First off right, let me go ahead and take a look at this here. Here where most devices have their keystone is actually a focus point. So you can slide this knob to focus. So I'm gonna show you that up here. So I don't know how well that'll show up. You see that's got real grainy and then you can sharpen it up by using the right focal point. Now the other cool thing about this is it has an automatic keystone. So as I were to move this it will, you should, you might have seen it snap right there, is it's trying to recorrect the keystone automatically. So that way if you're at weird angles, I don't know if it work on the wall like that, it should adjust, there we go, automatically. And you can manually do it from the uh, home screen if you run into problems, such as weird walls or what, anything like that. So let's go ahead and go back to the uh, main menu. 
Oh, there's the volume. That's all we have. Alright. So, let's go ahead and go to signal source. I got this hooked up to my cable box. So we're going to use HDMI. And there we are.